Hi and welcome to another episode of Peacemake TV. In today's video we're going to be looking at the new update for Elementor Pro. This is version 1.60 and one of the new features has been added and that's the ability to create animated headings. So as you can see on screen, I have the word awesome being underlined to draw your attention to it in our header block. This is all done inside Elementor Pro. No additional plugins are used whatsoever. So what I want to do today is I'm going to take you through and show you how this new feature works and how easy it is to implement it into your designs. So let's check that out right now. I've gone ahead and jumped in the admin of WordPress and as you can see I've got the page that I've shown you open ready to start working. Everything is laid out, I've just got a row at the top with a background set in there and some padding and I've got a button placed in there. We're now ready to put in the header area. So what I'm going to do if I scroll down at the pro elements you'll see we now have a new widget animated headline. Simply drag that over and position it where I want and you can see it immediately shows us a preview of what's going to happen. So if we now take a look on the left hand column you can see we've got all the control options for this particular widget. As usual everything's broken into three separate tabs, content style and advanced. So let's take a look at the content tab first of all. First thing we've got is the headline and we've got two styles to choose from. We've got highlighted which is what's being sort of shown at the moment and then we've got rotating. The difference between them is highlighting will, as its name suggests, it'll have a circle or an underline or something to highlight the one word or words. The rotating gives us the option to have multiple words that transition through various different iterations. And again, we've got different types of animation. So if you take a look on the right hand side, if you can see it, it now animates through better, bigger and faster. So let's just jump back to the highlighted to start off with. We've also got the option for a couple of different shapes. You can see you've got circle, curly, underline and so on. Choosing any of these will give us an immediate preview of what that looks like on the actual page itself. So what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to jump over to the style section. I'm going to set some options up in there so we can see a little clearer what's going on with the text. And then we'll go back and we'll take a look at how we can style and try some of these different animations out. So by taking a look in the style section, you can see we've got two different subsections. We've got shape and we've got headline. The shape allows us to control the color and the width and so on of the actual shape that's being animated or the headline is where we can control the actual text itself. So let's just change that. So let's just say we want to change the text color and we'll make that white so it stands off the page a little better. And we'll just do some typography options. We'll come in and choose a font family of Open Sans Condensed. And what we'll do is we'll just make some changes in there as well. So we'll just say we want to make this a little bigger. If we jump back over now to go to the animated text at the bottom, you can see we've got the same options in there. So we can change the color if we want to. So we can say we wanted to make that a different color. Let's just say, for example, we want to set that to something like orange. Well, we could do that quite easy just by changing the options under the animated text section. Again, we've also got the typography option. So if we come down into there and we'll say again, we want to use the same font family for this. So open sans condensed. You can see, as with pretty much everything else in Elementor, it's very easy to quickly style and adjust everything you want. So I'm going to set the color back on this just back to white so we've got consistency. And I'll just jump back over to the content section. Now I'm going to change this to the text that I want to place in there. And the way this works is pretty simple. You can see we've got before text, highlighted text, and after text. And as you can see, anything that's set in the before will be before the animated highlighted text. Anything that's set afterwards will be set and positioned after the animation. So as you can see, awesome is the word that I've set up to be the highlighted text. The before and after is the hour and teal and orange toolkit. So pretty straightforward in all honesty. It's very self-explanatory. You can see we can control the alignments. And as always, we can change the alignment based upon the device this is being viewed on, desktop, tablet, or mobile. We can also change the HTML tag that's being used for the actual content itself. So before we move on, let's take a quick look at some of the different shape options we have available to us. You can see at the moment we've got it set to double. We can come in and we can say we want to have this circle so it'll circle around the actual word itself. We can do things like uh, underline zigzag, diagonal, strike through x and so on. So there's quite a range of different options available in this. Let's go back and set this to be the double underline. If we jump over to the style section we can now change the shape and we can change the color of that, we can change the width of it, we can bring it to the front, round the edges and so on. So if we want this to be a different color we can easily come in and choose any color using the color picker or anything we add to our custom color palette. We can change the width of this to make it thicker or thinner depending upon our particular requirements. 
So you can see we can easily change that. We can specify bring to front, which if we've got something like the crossover or something that you want to sort of do a strike through, you want that to be at the front of the word or words that you're sort of trying to highlight, well, you can do that just simply by using the bring to front, whatever you think is the best, and the rounded edges just sort of rounds the edge off to make it look more like it's been done with like a marker pen or something as opposed to having a squared off edges. So some really nice, really simple, really self-explanatory tweaks that we can adjust just to get it exactly how we want it to look. If we want to come in and change the size of anything, you can see we can easily do that. So we can bump the size of our overall heading up. And again, we've got control over there based upon the device we're looking at. We can set this to a pixel value, an M value, a REM value. We've got a whole range of ways we can set up and work with the actual typeface to make sure it looks good on all devices. Okay, so that's how easy it is to do that. As always, under the advanced section, you can see you've got the various different options about pad in Z index and so on. Nothing really new in there. Let's just jump back over the content. Let's take a look at another option. This time, let's change over from the style of highlighted to rotating. Again, you can see it leaves the actual before and after, but we now got a different option for the rotating text. And as you can see, if I leave that on there at the moment, you can see that that particular rotating set text section is the bit that actually changes in the design. We've also got a range of different ways of showing this. We can do clip, for example. We've got things like flip. swirl and so on again we've got a range of different options all we need to make sure that we're doing on there is that each of the different things words or phrases we want to change make sure that they're all independent line to make sure that they actually work the way you want them to and that's all there is to using this new animated header widget as part of elemental pro 1.6 I think this is a great way of being able to draw attention to various parts of your page, headers and so on, to really sort of pull attention and show people where it is you're trying to showcase as part of your website. As always, if you think Elementor Pro is something you'd like to invest in or you're looking to purchase licenses, please help support this channel by using the affiliate links in the description below. We get a small percentage of every single purchase that use that link and it helps us to create more content for you. If you have any comments, questions or feedback on this video or anything else we cover on the channel, please pop those in the comments section below. We try to read everything you post and answer as many questions as possible. And until next time, take care.